What's up ladies and gentlemen, you welcome back to my channel, my name is Nifon Tui and on this channel I make some tutorials, I post new videos on Wednesdays and on Saturdays So please make sure to check back on those days in order to watch new content If you like the video, please push like my videos if you like the, if you enjoy the videos, it really 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 helps me out um, Thank you so much for all your support um, in the past and thank you for watching the video now um, if you're a beginner or if you're a person who wants to on your skill, I offer online courses. I'll be showing a demo on how to make a jumpsuit. If you are interested, please send a telegram message to number that I can see on the screen. Thank you so much. Do have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Alright, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a split color two-toned um, dashiki um, so you've seen the image, you've seen the thumbnail already, you've seen the what the dress looks like. So to begin, and I've shown you, you've seen the measurements you need um, to make this already. So let's get right into it. The first thing you do, what I always do when I'm making most of my pieces, you keep half an inch of sewing allowance away from the top of the paper. Just rule the line. So after you have ruled that line, the next thing you do is to place your shoulder measurement. So the shoulder measurements that we are working with is 7 inches, it's 14 inches, I keep on making this mistake, 14 inches, 14 inches divided by 2, 7 inches. Alright, then the next thing you are going to do is you are going to place your neckline width and your neckline depth. Okay, so as for the neckline width, you are going to take 3.5 for the neckline width. Alright. And then for the neckline depth, you can still use 3.5 or you can make it 4 inches depending on how deep you want the front to be. But I'm going to just stick with 3.5. Alright, so you see, made a curve at that point. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to place our armhole measurement. But you are not going to slope your shoulders before you place your arm, you place your armhole measurement. Now the bust of the person I'm working with is 36, 36 divided by 6. It's 6 plus 1.5 inches, 7.5. We're going to start from this point here and come down to 7.5. Now, because everything is supposed to be loose around the body, it's not a very tight fitting um, uh, dress, <laughs> dashiki. So, what you are going to do is you're going to come down. Um, instead of placing it at um, 7.5, I'll just go to the nearest whole number, which is 8 inches. Now, the next thing we're going to do is you're going to place your dress length. So, the length of the dress I want is 36. So, I'm going to come to 36. I think let me make it a bit short. I'm going to stop at 35 inches. So, I'm going to come to the dress length over here, 35 inches, and I'm going to make a mark. Okay, now after that has been done, the next thing I want you to do is the next measurement we are going to use is we are going to use your hip measurements next. Now, the hip measurements that we are working with um, is 40 inches. So 40 inches divided by 4 is 10 inches. So you are going to place 10 inches everywhere from the bottom all the way to the armhole. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep 2 inches as the hem, alright, 2 inches at the hem. Now that 2 inches at the hem is going to serve as the allowance for my hemming at the bottom. I'm going to place 2 inches on the side everywhere from here all the way up the armhole. The 2 inches on this other side is 7 as my allowance on the side. Alright, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my sleeve length. Now, this is where the shoulder stops. So wherever, however long you want your sleeve to be, or wherever you want it to stop, you simply add that number here, like you're placing a sleeve length. So the sleeve length that I want is the sleeve length that I want is eight inches. So I'm going to come to eight inches and I'm going to make a mark over there. Now another thing you would do is because of how we place the armhole. The, your, the, the size of your armhole is going to always be um, a bit longer than the size of your bicep uh, only if you have like really really massive biceps so the bicep of the of, um, person has the measurements is 11 inches 11 inches divided by um, 2 is 5.5 and you can see where 5.5 stops we have all of this as our allowance so what I'm going to simply do is I'm going to just extend the end 
and then I'm going to connect here down and then I'm going to add my allowance for the um, hemming at the sleeve okay so the allowance I've added in front of here is the hemming for my sleeve and then at this point I'm going to simply make an arc here all right so now this is the pattern I'm going to cut this out I'm going to use this pattern to cut the front and the back next thing you should do cut this out All right, so now when it's time for you to place your fabric, first of all, you will need two different fabrics that will work together to give you the um, end result. So when you have that down, the first thing you want to do is locate the front side of um, your plane. Uh, this can go in any other. Just even if you pick up the, the pattern piece first and you place it first, make sure that you have the front side Make sure that you have the front side of whatever fabric you are placing now. Make sure you have the front side facing you, okay? Now, when it's time for you to place the um, second fabric on top, you want to make sure that you take the front side, you look for the front side. When you found the front side, you place the front side facing the front of this. Remember that this was facing up. This one here should face down. So that that's where you have front side of fabric facing front side of fabric and after that has been figured out and it's laying smooth the next thing you want to do is simply place this guy on top of here and make sure that you keep half an inch in front of your pattern and that's going to serve as the allowance for joining both of them together Alright, so you see, this is what we have now. So the next step is for us to cut the facing. Alright, so for the facing, I want you to cut a square that is 17 inches by 17 inches. And after you have done this, so this is 17, 17, I want you to simply fold this, collapse it in half, and then I want you to simply place your pattern on top of it now unlike the main fabric where we kept half in, uh, half inch in front of here on the facing we do not need to keep that half inch in front so just simply place this on top right on the edge cut the neckline and if you have any excess at the top like i do you also cut it off right, so this is the pattern that will be used for the neck all right so for the back you simply put your fabric on a fold Alright, and then I want you to place the pattern on top. Okay, so unlike the front, we don't need the half inch in front. Okay, we don't need the half inch to sit everywhere in front. You can use the back exactly like this. The only difference between the front and the back is that we don't need the neckline to be as low as it as it is in uh, as it was in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rule. You see this green line I have here. Continue it into the body and after you do that, I'm going to come down in front of here by just half an inch Okay, so in front of here, I'm going to come down just half an inch Then you're going to make a curve from here to here All right, so that is that for everything else you can cut it the same all the way around which is what I'm going to do now Alright, so for the back, the piece I have here, um, the facing for the back, I cut this piece to be 17 inches by 7, okay? So you can cut a small piece like this, 17 inches by 7. Right, and then simply place this pattern on top. I'm going to cut around the neck only. Alright, so on both sides of my... Um, on both sides of my facing, that's the um, 17 by 17 and the 17 by 7 I'm going to iron um, into facing onto it. It's not in, in Nigeria, it's known as gum stay. If you're outside, look for non-woven fusible interfacing. Alright, so the first step when you're on the sewing machine is to join both sides of the, of the front together. Now the next step is to spread and iron 
this opening here flat. All right, so after you have ironed the both sides flat, the next thing you do is you get the facing that's meant for the front and you are going to simply stitch them together at the neck, front facing front. So you see this is the front of my dress and my dashiki is facing the front of the facing. I'm now going to stitch around the neck half inch and when I'm done I'm going to notch around the neck. So after you have stitched around the neck and you have made your notch, now the next thing, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to create the opening in front. And to do that, I'm going to need my ruler. So you see the center line where the plane meets the pattern. That's where our scissors is going to enter. So what we're going to do is from the center line, we are going to come a quarter of an inch away from the center line. We are going to stitch from here down. When you get to five inches, you are going to now stitch half inch across okay and then you are going to go up so that's what I'm going to do now before you do that make sure to reinforce this area by back stitching there neatly um, like twice so that by the time you make a cut through it it doesn't loosen after um, it doesn't fall apart after some time in case in case you are wondering I only went down to 4.5 okay 5 was looking as if it would be uh, just a bit too wide so I stopped at 4.5 and you can see what I have done I hope um, the camera can pick it up so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to cut in between so you see what I'm doing I'm going to cut here all the way when I get close to the end I'm going to stop and then I'm going to make a notch both ways so first of all to the left I'm going to make a cut make a cut make a cut stop and then I'm going to come to the rise and do the same thing. Make a cut into the rise and stop. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make notches on top of here. So cut there like so, make a notch there. And also I'm going to cut here like this. And the next thing I'm going to do is you turn it inside out and give it a good press. Alright, so after this is the back. What you're going to do is simply place the two necklines together. I'm going to stitch around the neckline. I'm going to notch, then I'm going to turn it inside out. All right, for the decorative part that sits in the, in, on the plain side of the front, what you're going to do is you're going to cut rectangle at 12 inches by 10 inches. And after you have done that, I'm going to fold all sides by half an inch and iron. So I'm going to iron here flat half an inch, iron the side at half an inch. So this is the part here that I told you to fold, all right, on all sides. The next thing I'm going to do is for us to join, we'll put that side aside first, join all sides of the shoulders together. So you see this, I'm placing the front of the back, okay, facing the front of the front. Whatever I do on one shoulder, make sure to repeat on the other side. So after you have brought them together like so, you are going to open up the, f um, the facing. So you see this, open up the facing, you see the blue, align the sh two sides of the shoulders together. So you see, this side here is with the body, okay, here is with the body, and over here the um, two sides of the facing are together. So I'm going to stitch from here all the way across to the end of the shoulder. So the part you can see here is the inside. So this is the neckline. You can tell this is the blue facing the um, sewing machine. Alright, so you see this, this is the front side of the facing, that's the back side of the facing. Now what I want you to do is on all four corners, so here, here, here and here, I want you to fold twice. So half inch, half inch and simply hem all sides. So I'm going to hem here neatly. Alright, so with that I have neatly finished 
all the ends of the facing if uh, in case you don't want to go through all the work of what i just did if you have an overlocker you can use that to finish all the sides if you have a review machine use that to finish all the sides it will also be a clean finish now the next thing we would do is we're going to make a stitch somewhere under here so that it holds this part down permanently so that when your client puts on the dress the shoulders will not be sticking out um so what you're going to do is this if you pick this up and if you have an overlocker this will be a good time to finish this rough edge you have over here all the way down but to continue what you're going to do is this we are going to open it up you see this you see what you see where the direction of the of the joining is facing you're going to pick it up you see that and after you have picked it up like so you are going to turn it and keep it like so in the same direction all right make sure that the edge is sitting at the edge like so and then you're going to simply run a line right here by doing that you're going to hold here in place permanently okay so you see with that we have secured the shoulder you can see when i pick this up the whole body is coming up the next thing we're going to do is easy just hem both sides of your sleeve down okay so remember we kept two inches in front of here so first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold half an inch and then you fold 1.5 and stitch on top of it all right so now the next thing is to stitch this piece on top the, the piece i told you to iron all sides the 10 by 12 inches now what you want to do is you want to come 13 inches away from the top okay 13 inches away from the top and you want to come 1.5 inches away from the side and after you have figured that out i want you to stitch all the sides holding it down okay now this would also help you to hold some parts of your facing down so that the front of your facing does not go up and down when your wearer is trying to put it on. Next thing I'm going to do is we're getting close to the end so I want you to join the two side, the, um, sides together so you see from the sleeve over here i want you to join half an inch from here all the way down to the end also do the same thing on the other side after you have gotten to the end of this side all right now the last step is to hem the bottom so i kept two inches at the bottom so i'm going to fold half then fold 1.5 and then sew around the bottom but after i do that i'm done with the with the dress and if you've watched this far thank you for watching have a lovely day bye bye i'm going to just hem the dress you can you can watch me hem the dress but after that we are done thank you for watching